Hana Djashvili, Shalom. Shalom. And welcome to Culture Buzz. Thank you very much. Hana, we are sitting here at the Buchmann Meta uh, School of Music in Tel Aviv University. Uh, a few minutes before the world debut of a new work by you called Repetitions. Would you be kind enough to tell us a bit about this new work of yours because it's quite interesting. Yes, it's interesting because it's uh, for three trumpets, commissions for three trumpets, it's instrumentation not usual, well not usual, and um, the best uh, trumpeters will play this, these best trumpeters of the world. This is uh, our Nama Golan, she's very, very good, good trumpeter. And um, Bill Foreman from Germany, and uh, Nathan, Nathan Plant from Germany and uh, America. Is this part of what is known as Chatzotzra'in? Chatzotzra'in? Uh, okay. Is it? Yes. Okay. Um, uh, so the commission was to write for three trumpets, but when I thought about this piece, I decided to add piano, and piano is a sound resonator, so it means that nobody plays on piano, but we have piano uh, because uh, trumpeters, um, you, uh, they play sometimes inside the piano and we get very interesting sound and echoes and new colors, colors of uh, three trumpets and piano echoes. It's very interesting, it's as if uh, this is a, a piece for uh, three trumpets and one invisible piano. Yes, because nobody plays <laughs> on piano, but uh, I, I need this uh, this instrument and we'll see it. It works well, I think. Hannah, this is not your uh, first composition. You are quite a fertile composer. And I know that your uh, music is being played all over the world, performed. If I'm not wrong, a short while ago, it was Ensemble Meitar that performed one of your works in Hamburg. Yes, in Hamburg and in Dresden. It was a great festival in Hamburg. Sounds of Israel, mm -hmm. and uh, two days after we have another. We had another festival, Global Year, in Dresden, and uh, it's a pleasure to work with Ensemble Mitar. I wrote for them um, four pieces, and uh, I know them four years. So every year I write a new piece for Ensemble Mitar because it's amazing uh, ensemble, and uh, it's ensemble that take. They give chance to Israeli composers to write new music because we have uh, we have not so much uh, ensembles that play Israel music, Israel contemporary music, and it's uh, very important that they do this. And Hannah, for you, as if I understand correctly, contemporary music music is a passion. Yes, it's my love. <laughs> contemporary music. Um, because I uh, don't know how to say about this, but um, um, I was born in Tbilisi in a musician family. Georgia. Yes, Georgia. My mother is pianist and my uh, uncle is a composer. So uh, from childhood I, I heard co contemporary music. In Hebrew, we say, in Hebrew we say it's in the family. Yes, it was in the family. Contemporary music is was family. And uh, Bardemashvili Yosef is our very, very close friend. So it was uh, part of me. Another great composer. Uh, yes, another great composer. Also very fertile. Yes. Very talented and uh, I so, so, so it must be the Georgian water. <laughs> yes. <laughs> or fresh air. And, um, but many talents. Yes. Uh, so, so it was uh, from childhood that I heard contemporary music. And uh, after this, um, uh, after Georgia, I lived in Moscow too. Because after that, I did a diploma uh, master in Tbilisi, we moved to Moscow with my family, 
and there I met uh, Vladimir Tarnapolsky, mm. one of the most important composers of right. our time. Right. And uh, there I heard especially contemporary festivals and I met composers from all over the world and musicians and master classes. It was a very, very interesting experience. Hannah, what is your uh, basic instrument? Is it piano? Yes, it's piano. And when I was uh, 17 years old, I decided that uh, piano is not so interesting for me and it isn't good to create something new. So I decided to go to the composer. <laughs> and when did you start composing? Um, uh, I have experience, I had experience when I was only six years old. It was interesting for me how a composer make music. Six years old? Yes. As young as Mozart? Uh, no, I'm not Mozart, <laughs> of course, but uh, it was interesting to do how they do this. So um, I wrote some pieces uh, like uh, sonatas of Mozart, there are three parts, A, B, A or something like this. And uh, I saw that there are some parts in, in, in the piece and one part is major, minor, major. And so I, I did like this, so it was interesting. Hana, as a pianist uh, and a composer, is it your dream one day to compose, a, for example, a piano concerto in which you can play the solo? <laughs> um, not, can not, we expect? Not me. Can we expect? Not me. I can. I can write a <laughs> piano concerto for Amit Dolberg or Madame Porat. Or Amit Dolberg of the Meitar Ensemble. Yes, or Madame Porat, or yes, very, very good pianist. So uh, I'll be happy to write for them. Uh, so the composer is taking over the performer. Yes. <laughs> Hana, I find your personal story uh, quite amazing. Uh, we are conducting this interview uh, in Purim and you have just told me that you have arrived to Israel from Moscow also in Purim yes. exactly 11 years ago. Exactly, yes. And it was March, like now, only one day after. Nine on eight. Yeah, but you know, we, we relate to the Jewish calendar. Yes, of course. So, so, so this is perfect. <laughs> and I must say that in 11 years in Israel, you have accomplished quite a lot. You are running a music school in Or Yehuda. And it means that a, newcom an, a relatively newcomer to Israel has managed in a decade or so not only to, be, to become a wonderful teacher, a principal of a school. Yes, uh, you know, it was my dream to come to Israel. I knew that it will not be so easy, but uh, I was very happy to start new life here. And I knew that it will be okay. I knew that it will be fine because I love my people and uh, I, I feel here at home. This is my home myself. So I can do for this uh, place everything that I can. Wonderful to hear. <laughs> and, uh, I know it's, it's, a, it's a question that is very difficult to answer. But if, for example, Hana Adyashvili, instead of coming to Israel, would have stayed either in Tbilisi or Moscow, or would have gone to another place, would your music be any different? Would it be more easier or more difficult than coming to Israel? No, it's a very difficult question. I apologize. Uh, I think that uh, uh, it's 
well was very important for me uh, to write music here because I said that here I am like at home and in Moscow it was not like this it was a um, feeling that I am guest here no and in Georgia I had no so many um, abilities to to meet um, so many musicians from all the world and to listen to hear contemporary music and here I think that uh, it's open world here wonderful so, uh, <laughs> Wonderful to you. Music is a universal language. It uh, recognizes no boundaries and no borders. Despite of that, what is Israeli in your music? Wow. Okay. Um, it's very difficult to say what is Israeli because uh, we are now in Hamburg. And it was like a question like this, what is Israel in your music? Okay. Is uh, anything Israeli for music? Is it folk music? No, it's not folk music. Um, but I do this in Israel, and in Israel uh, um, I hear so many sounds, so many colors, the different colors. It's so, it's so free a uh, place, Israel that I, I feel very, very free to write music what I want, <laughs> you know, without... It is something in the air. Yes, it's something in the air, I have only to catch it. So it's only yeah. in Israel I feel like this. I think that it's not... Uh, I, I don't write uh, folk music or folk elements like uh, Betty Oliviero, for example. She was my teacher when I did my... Another great uh, composer. Yes, one of the great composers, Israeli composers, and I did uh, my uh, my PhD. Yes, PhD, PhD with uh, Betty Olivier. Yes, um, I I write contemporary music, but uh, I think that uh, Israel gives me a lot of abilities to write freely. <laughs> Hannah, when you look at the future, what do you wish yourself? when it comes to your music? I wish uh, to myself that I had premieres like today, a lot of premieres like today, and uh, that's what I wish, I think. <laughs> it's, a, it's a very important thing for me to write music. I, I could not live without this, without the, writing. The only thing that I can say after hearing this is lucky us <laughs> and thank you very much thank you so i much. wish you all the best with the world debut of repetitions uh, we will tape it and bring it on our uh, facebook page and we are honored and privileged to be here with you in this very special evening and would like to wish you hana all the best and success in the future. Thank you so much and thank you for inviting and thank you for coming. Toda